we're going to have our large brush, our medium brush, and our detail brush. And when we work with this detail brush, this is probably one of the trickiest brushes to work with, so I just want to give you a few pointers on this one. So you'll notice when you play with this brush that you can get it to come to a point. The easiest way to get it to come to a point is actually to dip it in your water. And then you're going to dry it off a little bit. You don't want it to be sopping wet. Um, but you can go ahead and you can take your fingers and you can just kind of make it come to a point after you've gotten it wet by doing that. The next thing is when you want to load this brush, again, to get these bristles nice and close together, you're going to roll just the tip of the brush into your paint. And then that way, it'll be a nice smooth point. So that way when you actually go to paint, this is just a spare canvas, but that way when you go to get your line, you're going to find a starting point and a stopping point and just get a nice smooth brush stroke that way. If you don't get a nice fine tip to it, what's going to end up happening is these bristles are all going to get separated and they're going to get all crazy and it's going to be like a really bad hair day. They're going to get all haywire. And so when that happens and if you've got like all, you know, I'm trying to make it crazy here. But if you've got some bristles that stick out and everything, you're going to get more of a line like that where it's, it's kind of just messy. And so we don't want that. So that's going to be really important when you're doing that. To use this brush, or when you're using this brush, I should say, it's going to be for your outlines. It's going to be for your really, really small spaces. When we use this detail brush, it's likely for, like we had talked about, those outlines. And when we go to do an outline, it's really important that your paint glides. That's what's going to give you that nice smooth line. So in addition to making sure that you've got a nice fine tip to this detail brush, you want to make sure that your paint is thin enough to be able to work with. So if I take this brush and I start painting on here, it's going pretty good. It's gliding pretty, pretty well. But if we were to step away for a few minutes, let's say you got up to grab something to drink or you know it's, it's been sitting out for a few minutes longer than you had hoped, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take just a little bit of water. You can see I've got just a, like a drop of water on there. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna add it into my paint. And it's just an easy way to just get that paint a little bit thinner. But you wanna be careful not to add too much water. If you hold your brush up and it starts stripping off, it's not going to work out on your canvas, so don't put it on your canvas. Instead, make sure you add some more paint. So you're going to thin it out to a nice amount, but make sure that you take the time to really mix that water in, because again, that will help avoid any drips coming through here. But when you do that, that's going to help make it so that again, you've got that nice starting point and that nice stopping point and a nice glide along the way. So that's really important. Just keep in mind, if you do add water to your paint for any reason, just make sure you really, really mix it in well and make sure you always start with a small amount. You can always add more, but you can't take the water out. So you always wanna start with that small amount. And then the last tip that I've got for you is to, when you're holding these brushes, you can tell there's a gripper here. It's there for a reason. Go ahead and hold it right on that gripper that's going to give you your best control as you're going to paint. Um, again, remember, this gripper goes anywhere, so you can turn that brush as you need to. So when you decide to paint that wide line, you're going to hold the gripper just like this. You're going to use both sides of your brush. And when you go to try and get a little bit of a thinner line, you're going to grip that brush and just turn it. But just make sure you're holding it like a pencil that's going to give you the most control. If you want a looser control and you kind of want to let it be a little bit more free, then you hold it back on the handle a little bit more. And then other than that, just remember that this is about your art and nobody else's. It may not look exactly like the picture, but that's because we're each unique and we want to embrace that. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun and make sure you watch this before you paint every time and you'll have the most success.